Hey, what's up, guys? It's Gathalian, and welcome back to Destiny. Today, Bungie was talking about, hey, fucking Volt Space. Wow! Wee! Wee! Volt Space! Yeah! It's coming in 1.1.2. There's going to be some expanded Volt Space. On top of that, they said that there was a little bit of an issue with Sony's update today. For one, I guess there's an issue with fire teams I don't I'm not sure if that was mentioned but I heard about it issue with fire teams people joining from party which seems to be bugged hopefully that will be fixed in 1.1.2 and then also that in 1.1.2 you will be able to pause and resume your game um, because that was a new feature in the most recent Sony update that's for PlayStation only Xbox guys don't worry about it just keep being cool baby all right, so we're going to talk about Volt Space, guys, because I got a lot to say about this, and there's a lot of information to cover, and it really didn't have a lot of text, but I think there's still a lot of stuff to cover. Anyway, so Volt Space, here's the skinny, guys. So currently, we have 20, 20, and 20 for armor, weapons, and general items. In 1.1.2, armor is going to get one more slot. Four slots. So it's going to go up, or it's going to one more row. So four slots. So it's going to be 24 armor. Weapons is going to get 16 slots so a couple more rows what is that four more rows of weapons actually i think they're gonna fucking expand it and make it larger so it's gonna be 36 so i think it's gonna be six by six for armors yeah i think that's how they're doing it because they want it to be by six so it's gonna be thing by thing got it cool so there's gonna be 36 weapon slots and then 24 general item slots um this is a good increase to your vault space and i know a lot of you saw a post on reddit where it neatly organized things by weapons and armor type character type blah 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 blah, and it looked really cool but you got to think about how things are going to work in the real world man um bungie says that this is a c solution for the current state that there will be enough space in your vault for every single exotic armor piece and every single exotic weapon going up through House of Wolves. Going up through House of Wolves. So there will be enough space inside your vault for every single exotic up through House of Wolves. Now, I don't think we'll have every exotic in the bank at one given time. So um, that's cool. So thank you very much to Bungie for that. Now, let's... Let's talk about what all of you are thinking. Wow, is that all? Is that all? Is that all? You couldn't double it? You couldn't triple it? Is that all? Hey, Bungie, is that all? Hey, why, bro? Is that all? Is that all? Is that all? Is that all? Really? Is that it? Yes, that's it. You want to know why? Memory constraints. Well, if I got a bigger hard drive, then shouldn't I be able to get bigger vault space? No, stupid! That's not how memory works. In every system, there is a limit on memory. System memory. System memory is different from hard space memory. They're not the same thing. System memory dictates everything from AI to CPU loading things into how many icons can be on a screen at a given time. How many gun stats can be on a screen at a given time. How much of this information can be loaded at a given time now let's talk about system memory because that is where the constraints are held that is the issue that is why we could not have a bigger volt space and that is what bungie alluded to in their update about why we're getting 24 36 and 24 they gave us more weapon slots because boom there's more weapons yes i have never filled up my armor slots just saying and i Almost daily fill up general, but I feel like the, the extra four is going to be just enough to make it so I never run out of space in my vault, especially with the mobile vault access included. So we're going to talk about memory constraints and what it means. Okay, so like I said, memory inside system memory is not hard disk memory. Separate the two. So basically, system memory can only load so much based on how much system memory there is. And unfortunately, since we have two generations of consoles, we are constantly tied to the last generation of consoles. Now, I'm not saying we need to drop them. I'm just saying that is why that constraint is there, because there needs to be continuity in certain areas between the consoles. As far as content goes, they are content identical graphically obviously 
Um, the last generation of consoles falls behind a bit. It's a little bit muddier. But we're going to talk about system memory on the last generation of consoles. So there is only X amount of system memory on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. And unfortunately, that is going to get us in a situation where we are limited in certain areas in comparison to if the game was only out on Xbox One and PS4. So since we are tied to last generation and due to everything that is always loaded in the, into system memory, whether it be what's in the vendors, what's on your quests, what's going on in the tower, how many players are around, what guns are these players holding, uh, what skills are these players currently using, all of that is constantly loaded into system memory and that is why we are limited because all of those things come first before all of these little icons and whatever is left whatever is left over whatever is remaining is what we can use on the xbox 360 and playstation 4 so currently bungie has given us a little bit more volt space and limited by last generation that is what we are getting for the current time that is the quick fix for right now and i think that is honestly just fine i think it's just fine it's plenty of space it's definitely enough space for me personally and i have fucking everything literally i have everything so is this a bash on old gen consoles no you guys are a necessity you guys are a major part of the community but due to the lack of system memory on your consoles we cannot have 140 volt spaces for everybody because that's not how it works you can only load x amount of things into x amount of spice a uh, space spice spice bleep. continue the video space at a given time in y amount of time and that is why we are only getting 24, 36, and 24. Thank you, Bungie, for giving us a short-term solution. And going forward, they're going to give us a more long-term solution when we have different builds of the game. But in this current Destiny game, this is the amount of space we have to work with. And we do, unfortunately, have to continue to work around last-gen consoles because there has to be continuity. The reason we cannot say, oh, well, Xbox One gets a billion bajillion spaces is because your character's account is tied to your Xbox and PlayStation account. So all of your information that's on your PlayStation 4 is also on a PlayStation 3. And they need to allow your character to move fluidly between the two. So if one of them had more space than the other, there would be a major interrupt if you went in between one to the other. So there needs to be a constant wave of continuity. And that is important. I say bravo, Bungie, to listening to your community and giving us what we can have right now. But I wanted to do my, my best to explain why it, there's not more and why they are constantly limited by the older technology. You guys are necessity. Anybody playing on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and you can't upgrade to new gen, I'm not shitting on you, man. I understand everybody's got different situations. But everybody also needs to understand why things are the way they are, and that is why. Anyways, guys, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below telling me how you feel about anything I've said in this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys back Destiny. This should be an interesting one. Later.